I had developed an eating disorder when I was 14. My eating disorder was a way to regain control after losing it when I was sexually assaulted. When I was really deep in my eating disorder, I felt that that was who I was and all I had. It felt very difficult for me as a supporter and to watch her be in this very difficult place. I didn't think that recovery is possible and I didn't think I can change. I never wanted to get better. I really, at a time, wanted to be sick forever. When I was really deep in my eating disorder, I was terrified. I felt extremely alone. I didn't know there was a community out there. I felt like things would never get better. The way you feel when you're in that place is completely lost. You don't know if there's a way out and you don't feel like you can ask anyone for help. I didn't know anyone else who was struggling, so I didn't know who to reach out to. I work in the fashion industry and study fashion, so I'm constantly confronted with these images of what beauty is and what a perfect body looks like. That's why I had such a complex relationship with food and with what I put in my body with the fear of what it's gonna end up looking like in the end. I just, I was completely numb and I didn't know that change was a possible thing until I started actively trying to recover. At that time in my life, I could never imagine a time when I would be free from that. You don't think anyone else is going through what you're going through, when in reality, so many people are. One of the most important pieces in the recovery process is having a group of family, friends, and loved ones who can help you along the way. Matt, thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for believing in me through all of this. Thank you, Parth, for being the ultimate younger brother. Mom, I want to thank you for helping me to find my voice in recovery. For my friend who's been working with her eating disorder for a while and is doing better right now, it's so great to see you come such a long way and you're still continuing to go. And for that, we're thankful. Thank you, Ben. You've been the most incredible boyfriend, the most supportive partner. Mom, I want to thank you. You listened to me and without your love and support, I would have felt so alone in this entire process. Thank you, Christina, for saving my life and showing me that I was worthy of recovery. Leanna, thanks for saving my life. Thank you, Laura, for sharing your story with me and showing me that recovery is possible. To my parents, you reminded me that I was loved, that I was good enough, that I had so much to give to the world that I should just shine.